Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Let me ask you specifically about the Saints. Obviously, this was the first game we got to see them without Jameis Winston as the starting quarterback. And for three quarters plus, really for, you know, 50, 50 minutes or so it it was it was a sludge offensively yep is we talked about it last week and I think you and I agreed about Simeon so Taysom Hill can be in that Taysom Hill role is there a point where you give Taysom Hill a look as the starting quarterback I don't know and and, and Matt when you asked me that last week and I I told you I said I I have no problem starting Simeon because I can use Taysom Hill and that I like him in the Swiss Army knife role I do um yeah I would imagine if you're sluggish for three quarters again and you just now Simeon did a good job of rolling him back in, but I, I like I said, I don't ever give I, I don't coach effort you know, as a team, and effort's got to come from within, and you got to take care of that. But execution, we had, had understanding and preparation, we better coach and teach, and and Sean does. So I listen. If he if you go to a situation in two or three games in a row, we can't get it jump started. Of course, I don't think the reason they lost the football game fell just on Trevor Simeon. Now, their defense did a great job of shutting down the run. You're dealing with a pretty savvy, cagey veteran, you know, in Matt Ryan, and they've got some – and the big problem is they gave up a lot of chunk plays. You know, at the end of the game when they got back into it with Patterson and, you know, they, they hit some so they hit some big plays, and they're known for that, even though they didn't run the football. So the defense was still, other than the chunk plays, did a good job in the run game and made Atlanta beat you throwing it. And you can't spot teams that many points and, and weakly put it on. So – I'm willing. Trevor Simeon should start the next game. He he should. Now, if he, if it's I, I, the leash isn't very long, the hook would become quicker. But he he's been around. I mean, what do we expect? He comes off the bench and has to play a game, and then he gets a start, and he hasn't started in a while. I mean, we gotta we allow guys who play all the time to have a bad game, or have an average game, or sluggish start. Uh, we we do got a, a little bit of leeway on a guy to. To, to, to let him work his way in, but it's the NFC and it's deep and it's difficult. So it isn't like I can let it fester for three weeks. Got to start faster because the NFL's got too many good teams and too many good players not to. So I have no problem. But yes, if you go into a, a tailspin, which I don't think with that defense and Camara they're going to, um, and, and they can survive it. And the truth is, the quarterback you weren't relying on the quarterback to be the star anyway. You're relying on to protect the football, get rid of it, don't take sacks and don't turn it over and let's let our defense do right, but you can't spot them that many points and that many big plays. So a lot of people responsible on that one. I have no problem running Simeon out there again and using Taysom Hill, as I always do, at least for the next week or so. So, Sean, they're approaching the halfway point. Saints are 5-3, and three, so they're above 500, but they've been, yep. they've been Jekyll and Hyde, right? I mean, they got really impressive wins over Green Bay and Tampa and in New England, and they have these head-scratching losses, like getting blown out in Carolina and losing at home to the Giants and to Atlanta. So... What is this team in the second half of the year? It looks to me like a team that needs to play better against average. Now, Atlanta's better, I mean, you know, than uh, that opening game this year when they were playing and against Philadelphia, I think it was, is like they are going to be putrid because their red zone offense has always been a problem. And I'll tell you, Atlanta's a bad closing team. Now, they got the big play in this one, but they sure struggle. I mean, if you've got a 30-point lead and you're Atlanta or a 24-point lead or a regular season or Super Bowl, this team, over the course of time, will let you back into a game. But they're, they're, they're still, I mean, hell, they're, they're in position to give themselves a run here in the second half. But they, they, the Saints seem to have played down to competition and uh, in games they should win. So they've got to find a way to ramp it up and treat it. And I know it's hard. Uh, treat it like you're playing Tampa every week. And I know psychologically you're looking across and you're saying, well, that ain't Brady, but you still have to. I expect them to play good defense all year long. I expect them to... Uh, have their feature guy in Camara all year long, and I just need you to protect the ball and make some plays when they're there. I can't, Matt. I don't subscribe to the, the we'll just check it down and just don't turn it over. We don't need you to win games for. Screw that. In the NFC, where Rodgers and Russ Wilson and, and Aaron Rodgers and Matt Stafford and Kyler Murray all play, you're good. the quarterback's going to have to win me some games, and so you can protect it in comfort zone all you want. But what happens is you run into another guy who's a veteran quarterback against an average team, and he's playing well like Matt Ryan did. Then you all of a sudden wake up and say, ooh, now i, I got to get in a shootout to catch back up, and it's too little too late. So they need to ramp up their, their enthusiasm and urgency against bad teams, obviously with a fast start. 
but they also, and, and that intensity needs to stay there. But I, I told you four weeks ago, five weeks ago, that at some point in time throughout the season, a time or two, it's going to be a shootout. Their defense is going to be able to stop a team completely. And then are you going to be able to go from six cylinders to 12 cylinders and do it? And I would expect that they're going to be in a couple of those. And we'll find out if they can, but I don't like teams that don't know how to birdie the par fives. Mm. And, and a couple times this year, teams that they should beat, and if you're going to win on the PGA Tour, maybe I've used this analogy before, you've got to birdie par fives. Yeah. You, you just have to. And, and every now and then you'll make a bogey and a par three, but the Giants or the Atlanta Falcons, while better at home, I mean, you've you got to take care of your business and win those football games. And so if they, if they par the par threes and birdie the par fives down the stretch, they're going to make the playoffs. But they're going to get into a shootout, and we've got to find out if they're good enough offensively to do it through the, through the air when their defense isn't having their best game. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.